Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2007. So we are going to solve this problem one. So let us firstly have a look on this question, what it says. So it says let AT denotes the area bounded by the curve. So we have a curve the x-axis and the straight lines x is equal to t and x is equal to minus t these are the two straight lines that we have then question is asking limit at t goes to infinity of a t okay so these are your options so firstly what we need to draw we need to draw these two curves y is equal to e to the power minus mod x and the two parametric curve x is equal to t and x is equal to minus t right and after that we can calculate a t so firstly what is our task our task is to draw the graph for these two so this is the graph that i was talking about so let us have a look on this what it says it says that this curve which we have is fx is equal to e to the power minus mod x. I am talking about this curve, right? Now these are the two lines that I have drawn, but these are not the parametric curves. What I can say that suppose this is a line x is equal to c, sorry, minus c and this is the line x is equal to c okay that is what you know about the uh, graph okay so this is the graph for e to the power minus mod x and these two lines are the are the graph of x is equal to minus c and x is equal to plus c right now why i have drawn x is equal to c instead of x is equal to t because in this format we cannot draw the parametric curve are you getting my point because this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis so we don't have a t-axis here so we cannot draw but uh, what i have done i have done a, i have drawn x is equal to c because this is what uh, will matter for us so now let us see uh, now let us proceed to our solution okay now what you have to do you have to find out this limit limit t goes to infinity a of t that means you have to find out limit t goes to infinity area okay under the given curve so this is what you have to do now see how many curves do you have so firstly you have this y is equal to e to the power minus mod x right now you have x is equal to minus t and x is equal to t now as these two goes to infinity that will imply because in your question you have t goes to infinity so that means your x is going to minus infinity as well x is going to plus infinity are you getting my point or not the area that you have to find out has this property that x should goes to minus infinity. Now I have drawn these two lines, right? Now these two lines are actually x is equal to c. c is some constant. Let us say c is 5, 4, okay. So c is some constant belonging to r. It can take any real value. Now, if you will tan this c to infinity, then what will happen? You will get this one, what we have drawn here. Are you getting my point or not? So basically, what area do we need? We need this area because this line that we have should go to infinity in order to determine our at. Okay, if you want to find out what is your at, Okay, this one, if you want to find out this at when t goes to infinity, then this is actually this area. Okay, this area we need to find out. Are you getting my point or not? 
because this line is going to infinity okay so this is the area that we need to calculate right so what can we do we can do this by just integration okay so at i can write my at now what is your at if t is not infinity then what is your at at is actually this area okay are you getting my point or not when t is not infinity at is this area right this one we have to leave and this one uh, on the right side we also have to leave so this is our at when t is not infinity are you getting my point or not this is our at so at i can represent like this okay y dx and x is moving from minus t to t are you getting my point or not okay so if you want to find okay this is the uh, single integration case that you have already done in your intermediate level if you want to find out your area between these two line x is equal to minus t to t then this is the formula right so what it is it is e to the power minus mod x dx and from minus t to t you are varying right okay so now you need to find out this area when t goes to infinity so now i will write that limit t goes to infinity uh, of at it will be what it will be minus infinity to infinity of e to the power minus mod x dx right now see this function is a even function right this function is a even function what is the meaning of even function that f of minus x should be equal to fx this is the definition for the even function now since this is the even function so what we can do here we can use the property of definite integral and using that property what you can do you can write twice here and 0 to infinity okay if you don't know this property you can check uh, in your intermediate level book i will just okay write e to the power uh, where am i okay e to the power minus mod x dx now see this is twice okay now since your x is already positive your x your x belongs to this limit 0 to infinity that means there is no negative sign there so since there is no negative sign therefore you can remove your mod you are getting my point or not you can write just like this because x is already positive so when x is positive mod x is equal to x so this is 0 to infinity now just integrate what is the integration for e to the power minus x it's e to the power minus x and minus times and you have limit from 0 to infinity so e to the power minus infinity you will get and then you will get plus e to the power minus 0 so now you know that e to the power minus infinity is what it's 0 and e to the power 0 is 1 so finally what you are getting you are getting 2 as your answer because 2 is outside of it okay so you will get 2 okay this is the 2 that we are getting here now you are getting 2 so let me change my ink okay okay so that means b option is incorrect c is incorrect d is incorrect and a is correct okay so this is how we should proceed in these type of cases so thank you